Okay guys, I thought I'd show you a real quick little trick that I actually learned from Glenn Pepper Pete on RC groups about making a quick, a quick thrust tube to reduce for the Wemo fan combination with the cyclone motors and other motors various using styrofoam cup, paper cup, or in my case that I'm using here simply from Walmart, a Dixie cup. The diameter on the first lip right there, as you can see, if I cut it right there, is actually pretty close to 55, 58 millimeters. And then I make a little line, I'm not sure if you can see it there in the video, using the thrust tubes. I'm going to be doing this demonstration on my MIG. I pulled the old ones out. I've already done it in the F-18 that you can kind of see in the background. First thing I do is take the cup and put it inside the thrust tube right there. Take a Sharpie marker, not real hard, just gently, just so that it feels the diameter, and I trace the outside lines on the cup in backwards. Then I take it and rough cut it outside of that line right there, because I'm going to trim it down later. I take an X-Acto knife and cut right along this lip right here, like this, and cut the bottom on it off which is going to be our exit diameter. Just taking an X-Acto knife and cutting right across that bottom lip or anywhere up there just to open up the top part and get this off of it here. As you can see I've already done on this cup right here. Then I'll take it and cut through it, get to that line, there's my rough, thr rough thrust tube. This is just going to go in the, in the vectoring part of the nozzle. Then I'm going to take this and I'm actually going to trim it down to exactly on that line. We'll be adjusting it accordingly as we do a trial and fit error. So just take a pair of scissors and cut it across that line right there. This is still rough cut out and I'm probably going to shave this a 16th or a 32nd or even a 64th off just because I've rough cut it with my razor knife. Now I'll just take this and slightly fit it in there. If you gently take these you can actually kind of fold them a little bit without creasing them to get them to fit in the thrust tube since the wider nozzle, wider part is the back side here and you want it to fit in real nice and snug. So that you can tape it in place. And then I'll get it in there and fit it to the thrust tube nozzle. Most of the exit diameters on the LX twin jets here is about 65 millimeters. It's nice to have a pair of calipers so that you can measure it. If you can see if I measure across here, across the diameter, and I've already got it marked here so I know where the widest point is. That is the exit, exit, exit diameter that we have, and we want to bring that down to a, a number that will give us more thrust, somewhere around 55 millimeters. Wemo recommends between 55 and 58. I have Wemos in the F-18 here in the background. On this one, I have the stock LX fans with a pair of Cyclone 2500s. Uh, I've done this once before using a paper coffee cup if I can find them here and played around with different exit diameters to give different thrust. I did the same thing here. These I have painted with flat black and they just fit right inside there and I use Duobro hinge tape. Best stuff in the world for these little foamy jets and stuff like that. Works on the leading edges to help it make it slick and prevents dings. It's contourable and I put it on the inside and I'll do as close-up zoom here in a minute on the ones I've already done on the F-18. I just like the clear Dixie cups because they're plastic, they're lightweight, you add nearly no weight to the rear of the airplane, it's slick, and you can see through them. So you can go ahead and paint up and design your tailpipe area, as you can see I've done here, even though it's done in negative, um, to give you the effect, and then just put the cone in it, which will actually increase your thrust performance on the airplane. And I just do it in little small pieces. So anyway, I put that in there like so, and then get it to fit back just right up to the ball link that's on the inside here, or pretty much flush 
with here, with the exit of the tube, or the cone, I mean. And then you pull it back out, just gingerly, you won't tear up the phone too much, it takes a little patience, and if it's a little too big, just shave off, evenly, a sixty-fourth of an inch, just a sliver, and bring it down to size to where it fits nice and tight, but not to the point to where when you got it inside there, it wants to crease itself. And it takes a little trial and trial and error and patience, but you can usually knock one of these out, one of these little things out on a twin in probably about a half hour, 45 minutes. It took me about 30 minutes to do the uh, F-18 back there. The slip right here is uneven, and I actually want to sh do the same thing with it. It's just shave the ridge off of it. You can use sandpaper. I use the scissors because it's a lot easier and faster. And it doesn't, it's not rocket science, so you don't have to make it absolutely perfect. But you do want it as best as you can get it for the, pur for the purpose it's going to serve. And I'll just trim that rounded lip off right there where I cut it because I don't want to take it down any further because then I'll start increasing the diameter of the, of the hole here. And I want to keep it right at 55 to 58 millimeters. It's going to give me my best thrust uh, on most of the 70 millimeter fans uh, in this class right here. The F-18, like I said, has a set of Wemo Minis in it. I'm using the stock fans in this that I'll end up changing out later now that I've ordered a whole bunch of new Wemo fans. Just takes them a while to get here. Take my trusty micrometer and just give me a rough readout here of what I've got and I'm pretty close to 57.79 millimeters so I'm within a millimeter of it there and in the back it's actually going to be inside the pipes uh, let's see here it's about 65 millimeters well that's our taper and it's just a little taper just on the pipe part that'll help perform it then I'll trial it back in here again you'll notice that I kind of fold it fold it like this Put it in there and then let it expand. When I'm all done, I got it in there nice and flush. And I get this in here. I got it in there all nice and flush. You really don't have to glue or epoxy these in. You don't have to make any mods to the inside of the lip here at all because the plastic is so thin and usually the cut will be right up to you can feel the plastic in the in the cone there then I'll take my trusty Durabro hinge tape here oh and I cut me off about a two inch piece of with my exacto knife here just barely tack it to the end of the knife and I reach down inside there and just real gingerly find me a spot tack it in place and then rub my fingers so that it's nice and smooth and it's taped in there and I'll do that all the way around the inside of the diameter and it'll be nice and smooth it will uphold to the air that's rushing out of there and, and make it a lot smoother but now you have a cone shaped that's more down to the diameter which will give you more thrust slide the MIG here out of the way and actually spin the F-18 around here and let you actually see what I'm talking about here let me see if I can get over here and zoom this in Well, actually, a little dark there, but let me get some light on the subject. You can actually see where I've taped in the thrust cone right here.
and that is set at 56 millimeters. That's my exit diameter on the back part of just the foam part of the cup here. That's the that's the uh, exhaust tube, and I still have my thrust vectoring taped in there with the Durbro hinge tape. Simple. Then if you want to go back and paint it, you can. And then you can take the different cups and try different diameters. I've tried several different options. I've tried styrofoam cup, which works just as well, except the thickness of the styrofoam means that you're going to have to go into the foam here and make a little recess equivalent to the thickness of the styrofoam in order to get that to keep the surface on the outside here to be nice and smooth, which is why I don't use these. But they do. They, they, that is an option that works, and they'll stand up to it. I've tried paper cup, just a paper drinking cup, and then find the part, do the same thing. I stick it in there and I make my cut, and then I come back in here, put it around there. You can take it like this, fold it like this, squeeze it inside, and then let it expand, smooth it back out, and then run a tape right along the inside seam right there, and then paint to your custom desire. And you've already seen the black ones that I made out of a Miller Dixie cup. Again, the cup that I'm using right here is a cup from Walmart. Let's zoom this back out. The cup that I'm using is a cup from Walmart, just bought in their grocery section, and simply made a line there that I trace from it, which gives me a starting point. Cut it here. I usually cut it right there at the first little lip on the base. This part right here is what I use for the cone. And then trim from here back until you get it to fit in your particular airplane's cone. And then just simply tape it in with the Durabro tape and mold it down inside there, which is why I use it. You can take your finger, just rub it, and it'll contour down in it where it's almost invisible and can't be seen. And then this scale, uh, using a scale of micrometers if you happen to have a pair, not everybody does, or just a simple ruler and measure across here 55 millimeters pretty close to about 2.3 I believe in inches and there you go now you, you'll actually get more thrust out of your plane and I have actually uh, measured up to about an equivalent of an extra pound of thrust just on the stock motors. That's using the normal motors here that come with these LX7 these LX70 millimeters this is a stock LX fan 2100 kV LX motor on the LX fan this is originally what I had in the F18 that came out of the MIG I wanted a little more power so I'm using cyclone setups and Wemo motors but these do these are good EDFs and they'll work as long as you've got them all balanced out and as you do with any EDF take your time and do it right that makes your thrust cone You'll have it sitting like that. This will sit in the back and then give you more power. There you go, folks. I hope that helps a little bit. I'll try and make some more later.